Hi, and welcome to the section of the Geometry Tutor where we're going to continue talking about the area, but this time we're going to talk about the area of a parallelogram, and uh, we're going to find a very interesting result that I don't think you could probably, uh, that I don't think many people would predict ahead of time, and let's go ahead and talk about that now. So, what we're talking about here in this section is the area of a parallelogram. And I'm using the little abbreviation of parallelogram right there, okay? So first, let's just start our discussion by talking about, um, well, let's draw a parallelogram, okay? And what we want to do is we want to find the surface area here, which is the inside area here. We've talked about the concept of area before. Uh, well, what we want to do is make a few, um, um, label a few things that you'll find uh, in, in all the books. Just like in the rectangles, this distance is called a base. And it's only the distance here of this line here, that this, of this parallel line here. And the height, this is something very, very important, the height is this vertical distance here. It is not this slanted distance here. It is the vertical height of the parallelogram here, like this, but it is not this slanted height. That is the definition of H uh, in, the, uh, in the parallelogram world, okay? Now, follow along with me here. We're going to do a little logical argument and we're going to try to figure out what the area of this is, okay? So let's move down here. Okay, I'm going to redraw my parallelogram, okay? Same parallelogram, nothing has changed. But now, I'm going to put a dotted line here, and I'm just going to, I'm just going to point out, what if we drew a line here, and what if we slice this thing right here and cut this part of the parallelogram off and took this triangle that's formed and kind of moved it over here and put it in its place, okay? Then what we would have is, I'm gonna put a dotted line here because this is where we cut it, okay? What we would have, this is sort of the parallelogram after we cut, and after we move this triangle here, what would happen is uh, we would have this triangle occupy the space here, right? So nothing magical is going on here. We started with a parallelogram, we sliced off this triangle, and we decided to move it over here, and it fits like a nice puzzle piece in here. And what does it form? It, it forms a rectangle, a, kind of a sloppily drawn rectangle, but it, it's a rectangle nonetheless, okay? And because this was the base here, um, the base was from here all the way up to the end, okay? So this was the base here, and all we did was move this over here, and this travels with us, then in the end, this is still the base B, and we said the height of the parallelogram was this. That has not changed at all, even though we've moved this over here. So this is the height here. Now look, we formed a rectangle. We're calling this the base and this the height. What is the area of this rectangle? Base times height. So what does that mean? What am I trying to tell you here? What I'm trying to say is the area of this parallelogram is what we were trying to find. But we've shown through a logical argument that if you just cut this triangle off and move it over here and make it into a rectangle, and we know the area of a rectangle is base times height, and we know this base and this height is the same as this base and this height, then from a logical argument you could say that the area of a parallelogram is also base times height. And that's exactly true. So for parallelogram, the area is exactly the same as it is for a rectangle. Okay, that's what we're trying to say here. So even though this looks different, and it does look different, by the way, it's a slanted uh, 